turn. You wrote me this email. Page after page. Documenting. Your life since I've known you. I've highlighted the parts that I, I know are important. So you're going to tell your story one last time. And then we're going to put it to rest for good. Read the highlighted parts. My low self-image has been a battle for me all my life. I find myself crying almost all the time when I'm alone. I was heavily involved with drug addiction as a teen. I was ill from ulcerative colitis for about nine years until the symptoms became so bad that I had to get my enlarged intestine removed. Once my bag began to leak in a coffee shop and I didn't realize it until a girl came up behind me and sprayed my back with her perfume. And I wanted to crawl under the table and cry. <sighs> Women pick up on my desperation I am hurt so easily, so much that if a woman doesn't smile at me, it will ruin my week. I feel disgusting, dirty, and repulsive. I simply want to give up on life. Aaron, I know you have anger towards the way that your body was developed. I know you have anger towards people in your life that hurt you. This is not who you are. This is who you think you've been. Who you are is a man that's about to be reborn. Then it ends up like... Uh, might improve things, you never know. Uh, so funny. Dude, growing up, people would ask me, what's your biggest challenge, Sean? Is it getting in and out of the car? Is it taking a shower? What is it? And the truth is, it was dating. Because I don't fit that picture of the knight in shining armor that girls grow up their whole lives dreaming about. And I'm not in denial of that. I want to be in my wheelchair when she pulls up. I don't want you carrying me out. I want to be in the wheelchair. So I'm on my way to meet Sean for the first time, um, face to face. We've met via the telephone before. I pride myself on being someone who is up for anything and really spontaneous. And when, uh, when he asked me to come up, I thought, well, here is your moment. So. Here I am, about to meet him and go on our date together. In my life, I've experienced similar insecurities to my clients. For instance, like with Aaron, he has no confidence with women. And for me, dating was an extremely hard part of growing up. I still had moments of anxiety. When I travel in a vehicle, I have to use a child's car seat. So there's always that heart-pounding moment on a date when the girl pulls up and I know she's going to have to hook up my car seat, pick me up like a child, and buckle me in. Sometimes I wonder, am I nervous for the girl? Or am I kidding myself? Am I the one that's nervous? It's weird to teach self-esteem and confidence and still have moments when I'm not fully confident. So you must be Amanda. I am Amanda. It's nice to meet you, Sean. How are you? Good. Good to see you. I have worked with people in, in wheelchairs before, I've had to help people with physical handicaps. Um, so while it's never been in a date setting, it doesn't seem like an impediment at all. All right, so what we got to do is we got to get my car seat on your passenger side. Right. Mm -hmm. Pull the chair all the way back. Okay. 
And then this is my dad, Greg. Greg, Amanda. Oh, here we go. I'm Amanda. Nice to nice meet, to meet you. you, too. You probably have an airbag, don't you, on this side? Yes. Or is it? Mm -hmm. So we want to be back as far away from that. Now, you want to have her try it? Or yeah, I'll, I'll teach her. I just lift him under the arms and lift him straight up. Okay. All right, how strong are you? Really strong. Let me see the guns. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. Watch your head, please. No problem. All right, so you got to bring this over. Okay. It's Keep all twisted. Down. It's all twisted. Get it untwisted. Okay, here we go. So. Okay. Relax and that just left. snaps in. Okay. Let's okay, do it. now I'll show you how to break the chair down. Okay. Pull off the Velcro and pull. Okay. Then grab down here. There you go. There we go. Sounds like good. Like a prop. You okay. got it. You Thanks. got it down. Yeah, nice to meet you. Have fun. Okay, we will do. See ya. All right, you ready? Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Let me smell it. Can I smell it? You smell it? Oh, wow. I almost dropped that oh my on God. you. That would have been awesome. And it would have also been totally me because I'm super clumsy. Wah, wah. Yeah, you smell it. I smell like a buttery bouquet of well, walnut. No. Like a little bit of walnut. Are you being serious? No. Okay, I didn't think so. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I... Whoops. Here, I'll tell you what. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll come out in the wash, I bet. Yes. Wine doesn't stink. See, I'm not the only one. I had to do that so that you felt comfortable. Thank you. That is so nice. I know. I'm so it's awesome. So, uh, Amanda. Yes. I want to talk about our 10 questions. Okay. 10 questions. Coming right up. Okay. Question number one. Mm-hmm. Why did you want to go on this date with me? Uh, because of our first conversation. Um, when I first talked to you, any potential nervousness that I could have felt about the date in general, you just put me at ease. And I thought, like, well, this is a guy that would be fun to get to know. I'm satisfied with that answer. I'm glad that you are. What is your favorite physical attribute? I like my eyes and my smile. That's true. It's a combo if you look closely. So you can say your face. <laughs> what is your biggest fear in not being a snake or a bug? Damn it. Um, my biggest fear, being boring. Interesting. Great question, interesting answer. What do you want your gravestone to say? My name not misspelled. Is Amanda tough to spell? No, but my last name is. Are you going to die single? <laughs> you never know what tomorrow will bring. Tick tock. Um, no rush. I think you would probably say something to the effect of she loved without any inhibition. Should I go with what my friends came up with because they are all about embarrassing me? Ooh. Or... Should I go with a new question? Well, do you have one in mind? I could come up with one instantly. Let's go with yours. Okay. Uh, could you see yourself going out with me again? Yeah. Yeah. Good times. The jury's out about you, though. <laughs> It was hilarious. It was playful. It was real. Um, it was a lot of fun banter. I think we'll have to see about a romantic relationship. It's really early. I just met him, um, but it's not something that I'm completely close off to. Coming up, get ready to break out. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! And then, come on, put it right in here. A little wild. 
Eric. 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 Eric.